hopefully you enjoyed yesterday's workout, which was getting outside for about an hour to two, 60 minute hike and the workout on top of the mountain. So for me, it was great. Great to get outdoors, great to do something different. And day 15, so you're almost there to the 21 day challenge. I want to keep you encouraged through faith, through fitness, through family and friends. <clears throat> so today's faith message is going to be on Proverbs 20. Okay, so today we got a four exercise workout. We're going to do a reverse pyramid starting off at 10. Moving from one exercise to the next. We're gonna do a lap around the block right here, down the street and back, and then come back and start round two. Start off in that nine, 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 and nine. So four exercises, we got we got parallel bar push-ups. So we got parallel bar, our feet are gonna be up, we're gonna be parallel to the ground, and we're gonna do a push-up knee up. So when I do a push-up, my knee's gonna come up. Also, I'm gonna have uh, squat press-ups. I'm gonna have 25 pound dumbbells, in each hand, come down, squat, back of my triceps to the bottom of my kneecaps, and I'm gonna press it up, and then I'm gonna have plank in and out on the on the ball, and then I'm gonna have uh, bodybuilders, AKA burpees. So, knock out 10, 10, 10, and 10, and then I'm going to run down, run back, jump back in it, nine, 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 down, back. And I'm going to reverse pyramid all the way from 10, all the way back down to 1. So stick with me if you can. Enjoy the workout. Don't let what you can't do stop you from what you can do. And embrace the pain. Hoorah! All right, here we go. Starting in 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go. Start in 10. Here we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, and, and ten. Set these down. Here we go, plank in the house. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten. Here we go, go for a job. Round one down. Here we go. Nine of everything. Starting at five. 
four, three, two, one, go. Six, seven, eight, nine. Set that off to the side. Grab your ball if you got one. Plank in and out. Three, two, one, begin. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I only need to do nine. All right, here we go, bodybuilders. One, two. Here we go, push up knee-ups. Five, four, three, two, one. Again. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, and eight. Here we go, eight plank, in and out. Three, two, one. Five. 
six. Seven. Seven. Easy day, baby. I say easy day because I know it's challenging. So I speak the opposite of what it really is. Three, two, one, seven. Six, seven. <clears throat> yes, it hurts my knees. Yes, it hurts my back. But if I don't do this, fibromyalgia hurts worse. Yes, chronic pain. All right, here we go. I said this again, I say I said it in the past videos, and I'll say it again. Stretching with my body builder. Elongate my muscle. I think that's four. Five. Six. Seven down, six more to go. Five, four, three, two, one, the end. Ready? Begin. One, three, four, five, six. Three. 
we go down to five. Down to five. Three, two, one. Again. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. Three, two, one. One. Two. Down four. Three, two, one. Begin. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Here we go down three. Straight into it. No talking. No resting. One, two, three. Come on. One, two, three. Two and three. We go down to two. Right into it.
two. Last one. Last one, and then fold up around the around my butt. Thirty minute workout. Four exercises. Starting off each one for a total of 10 reps. 10 parallel, parallel push up knee ups. Then I went to 10 squat press ups with dumbbells. Then I went to 10 plank in and out. And then I went into 10 bodybuilders, AKA burpees. I ran down the block, came right back, went into nine parallel parallel push-up knee-ups then I went nine squat press-ups nine plank in and outs nine bodybuilders aka burpees down back eight 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 down back seven 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 down back all the way down to one so when you're doing it if you don't have a box and parallel bars just do push-up knee-ups, just regular push-ups. And when you come all the way up to the top position, where you're completely extended, then you take your knee in, kind of like a mountain climber or a knee step up, but you're not putting your, knee, your foot to the ground. <clears throat> Squat press-ups, I went with 25 dumbbells, 25 pound weight dumbbells. And I always try to make sure I go full range of motion. Yes, it hurts my knees. Yes, it hurts my back. Yes, it hurts my body because of fibromyalgia, but my body hurts less after than it does before. Then, you, what you gotta remember is when you're going through the process, pick a weight that's gonna challenge you, and it's going to, remember, the greater the resistance, the greater the change. Embrace the pain. If it's not hard, it's not worth your time. Let me say that again. The greater the resistance, the greater the change. You cannot be on cruise control and expect to get anywhere. You're managing and maintaining, but you're not getting any progress. You have to push your body to the point of failure. And when you do, it will come back stronger, smarter, faster, and better than it was yesterday. So with that being said, wake up, work out, and become a warrior. Form your purpose through wise counsel. What does that mean? That means the dreams and desires that you have on your heart, find somebody that you can confide in, ask them for guidance, ask them for direction. So for example, if you wanna start a business, you can't go and seek wise counsel from someone that has no experience. You can't go to someone that works at in the South, Winn Dixie, and in West Coast, Tiggly Wiggly, or one of the banks. Seek wise counsel to form your purpose, and then surround a team around your purpose in order to unlock your destiny. You need family, you need friends, and you need mentors. You know, no matter how smart, how fast you are, there's always somebody smarter, faster, and better than you are. And if you're able to seek wise counsel, you'll find somebody that has done things that you haven't done, 
been places that you haven't been and are able to do things that you are not able to do. Yes, you may be smarter. Yes, you may be faster. However, they have the experience to help you. It's kind of like a football game. You have a fullback, and then you put the running back right behind that fullback, and it clears the path for you. Let someone that's already done the work for you help pave the way. Not, not being on their coattail, not not you know trying to see what you can get from them no you're just trying to to find the least resistant path which is not always the best option but find trying to relieve the pressure to get to where you're supposed to be so proverbs 20 verse 18 seek wise counsel to help unlock your purpose and inform a team around that so you can get to where you're supposed to be without family without friends you are never going to get to where you're supposed to be so today your challenge is, is to think about friends and family that are able to help you get to where you feel like you're supposed to be in your journey. Now they know you better than anyone else. So if you're full of crap or you're just inspired, not committed, then they're going to see right through you. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Formulate your plan. Write it out. Then present it. Not talk about it. And then now you're done, done talking about it until the next time you get inspired. Committed, not inspired. It's one of my favorite quotes. You know, a lot of people get inspired to do a lot of things, but without commitment, you'll never get to the other side. Walk by faith, have friends, have family, and find a mentor. God bless, simplify, and hoorah.